Hi, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the End Days Revelations. The controversial clinic experts to develop 30,000 lab-grown babies yearly. The developer expects technology will be around the world within the next 10 to 15 years. I'm going to put something in on that. I read another web page um, about the world's first artificial womb facility, and they said they will be starting human trials in three years. So this they'll be pushing these babies out within three years. It's not 10 to 15. Parents would be able to watch growth and development of their child in a see-through womb while monitoring health via the app. So they're going to have an app on the phone. The concept is the brainchild of Berlin-based Hashim Al-Galili. He says the facilities would allow infertile couples to conceive a baby and become the true biological parents of their own offspring. A so-called elite package would allow you to genetically engineer the embryo before implanting it into the artificial womb. Everything from eye color, hair color, strength, height, and intelligence can be chosen, and all inherited genetic diseases can be avoided. Introducing Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility, which is powered entirely by renewable energy. Al Galili says in a statement per SWNS, According to the World Health Organization, around 300,000 women die from pregnancy complications. Ectolife artificial womb is designed to alleviate human suffering and reduce the chances of C-sections. With Ectolife, premature births and C-sections will be a thing of the past. Hashim says it also offers a solution for women who had their uterus surgically removed due to cancer or other complications. It could also help countries that are suffering from severe population decline. Apparently, those countries that are in decline is Japan, Bulgaria, South Korea, and there are many others. I believe the United States is one as well. Not positive on that. Don't quote me for a fact. Um, he believes the technology is available already and only ethical constraints are holding the concept back. Ethical constraints, which would be Christians. That would be us Christians that is holding it back. So other than that, I, I don't see anybody holding it back except for us. Because babies are thought to recognize language and learn words while still in the womb, Ectolife growth pods feature eternal, internal speakers that play a wide range of words and music to your baby. An app allows choice of playlists baby listens to and ability to sing directly to them to gain familiar, familiarity with your voice before birth. That's so sweet, isn't it? Science and Technology News. World's first artificial womb facility will let parents design child's height, strength, and intelligence. This was put out December 13th, 2022. The pods are equipped with a screen that displays real-time data on the development process of the baby. The data can also be viewed via a phone app. Just pull your phone up. And there it is. There's your phone app. How nice, huh? So um, they said that babies in these pods can recognize language and learn words while still in their growth pods. And they feature internal speakers that play a wide range of words to your baby. An app allows choice of playlists that the baby listens to and the ability <laughs> coming directly to them to gain familiar familiarity with your voice before birth. I'm sorry for laughing. It's it's definitely revelations. We're here. We're here. We're here. Pod for lab grown babies at Ectolife facility gives will give the credit to Ectolife SWNS. Ectolife allows your baby to develop 
in an infection-free environment. The pods are made of materials that prevent germs from sticking to their surfaces. Every growth pod features sensors that can monitor your baby's vital signs, including heartbeat, temperature, blood pressure, breathing, rate, oxygen saturation. This algolily says the artificial intelligent based system also monitors the physical features of your baby and reports any potential genetic abnormalities. So, what do you think they're going to do with those babies that have an abnormality? Their babies, I mean, I can't imagine what they would do with them. What are they going to do? Serve them up for dinner? They're already on a menu. No pun intended. Every single feature mentioned in the concept is 100% science-based and has already been achieved by scientists and engineers. Get that? It's already been achieved. So one report says it'll be 10 to 15 years. Another report says it'll be three to five years. And now they're saying it's already been achieved. The only thing left is building a prototype by combining all the features into a single device, he says. Hmm, a chimera. Sounds like a chimera to me. In terms of time frame, it really depends on the ethical guidelines. Right now, research on human embryos is not allowed beyond 14 days. After 14 days, embryos must be destroyed due to ethical concerns. If these ethical restrictions are relaxed, I give it 10 to 15 years before we, ectolife, becomes widely used everywhere. Add to that five years of public awareness and education to help people become more receptive to the technology. No, they want to propaganda us and that's what they have been doing all of our lives. They want to bypass our conscience directly into our subconscious and that's how they do it. We all know how it's done. Thanks to a system controlled by artificial intelligence, each baby receives custom nutrients tailored to their needs. Custom. Each one gets custom tailored. wonder how much this is going to cost you guys, the people, or someone who wants a baby. You can only imagine. Are they going to repossess it if you can't pay, you know, on your payment plan? Each group of pods is connected to two central bioreactors. The first bioreactor contains nutrients and oxygen, which are supplied to your baby through an artificial umbilical cord. The bioreactor also contains a liquid solution that serves as the amniotic fluid that surrounds babies in a mother's uterus. It's rich of vital hormones, growth factors, antibodies that sustain your baby's growth and development. Now, if you notice my picture I have up here, it's, shh, we know who does this. Don't tell them what's really going on. We can't have them knowing what we're really doing and what it's really for. Now, can we? And surprise, follow the science because there is no gay gene. And that is a fact. Follow the science. This reminds me of the movie Splice. If you want a baby that's a cat, part cat, part rat, part dog, alligator, I guess this is where that will come into where the X-Men gene is going to be arriving from. The second bioreactor is designed to eliminate any waste products produced by the babies, which are transferred by an artificial umbilical cord. With the help of a delicate layer of engineered enzymes, the second bioreactor can then recycle the waste product and turn them back into useful nutrients. This way, the facility ensures a steady and sustainable supply of fresh nutrients to the baby. Notice my little splice baby up there? Yeah, that's coming, guys. This is today. This is revelations. This is happening. We are right there. The birth process is done. <laughs> Guess what? 
You wouldn't believe this. It's done by a push button. A push button of all things. Of all things. There we go again. We can't tell the people what we're really up to now, can we? Ectolife provides you a safe, pain-free alternative that helps you deliver your baby without stress. The delivery process is smooth, convenient, and can be done with just a push of a button. Just the push of a button. Oh, I, shh, just don't tell them what we're really up to. This is what the company says. After discharging the amniotic fluid from the artificial womb, you will be able to easily remove your baby from the growth pod. Everything is perfectly designed so you and your partner can enjoy the delivery process. Aww. Don't tell them what we're really up to. Right? Sad, really. Okay, well, I just want to let you guys know that the contents of this website does not constitute advice and are not provided for, and it's provided for information purposes only. This, it's not, this website is not giving you advice and we're only giving you informational things that are found from the websites such as the World Health Organization and what the elitists are up to. I just want to go back and let you